Aloha friends! I hope you guys are having a wonderful new year so far. Just wanted to give you guys a 2014 update of my Facts and um, show you guys what I've done with it. A few weeks ago I showed you guys a video um, of creating your own custom dividers for the Filofax and I was letting you guys know that I was actually going to work on it during my Christmas break which I did and finally now I'm, I'm filming it. So first of all, as a quick reminder that I do have the A5 sketch um, Filofax. Um, I've shared um, this with you guys before made a couple of videos on it and so this time I wanted my Philo facts um, to reflect my personality to reflect the new year and to reflect um, just what is more important to me that's how I um, I chose to customize it um, it's still an ongoing process I think everything that we do is an ongoing process which is good but um, share with you really quick before the final facts. This is my phone. Before I get on to my final fact, just wanted to show you guys um, the little compartment that I use for my um, my pens. So I got some uh, pens in here, and this is where rather than stuffing it into the final facts, I don't like it um, becoming too bulky because of pens or notepads or post-it notes and all that sort. So I got these pens, Ultra Fine Gel, and it's the the right W-R-I-T-E Dudes brand and it comes in I believe four colors unless I'm mistaken. Oh maybe five. So it comes in and I like it because they're like instead of the bright red, bright blue, it comes in pink a soft blue, lime green, dark blue, and then a gray in color. And I like how they um, they write. I prefer um, fine point pens compared to the the ballpoint. So I thought that was really nice. They're like roughly around five dollars at Target. Got me um, a highlighter in here, a yellow one, and this is another ultra fine point permanent marker from a uh, Bic B I C Market. And this is my most favorite pens. It's very fine point and I get this at the 99 cent store. Um, it comes in like seven for 99 cents and it really really um, writes super fine so I, I always have this handy. I prefer this pen more than any other pens. And my notepads, if you've seen my 99 cents haul, got this in there and I like this because it's, you know, flowery design, little swirlies in there and it's from the post-it brand. I think I've seen this also at Target. This is also another post-it, cute little, cute little bird. That's my Java. And two, um, I call these two little sticky notes. One, and then I love these um, post-its, uh, little note things where you just pull it out and then it has um, adhesive and then you can still write on here which um, is helpful when you're marking it. Um, I used to use this for school, uh, marking at the end so that you're still able to, to write something in here um, for your um, for your note taking or, or whatever you use it for. So that's it for my little um, carrier of my pens and my notepads. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I did. And uh, like I said, this is a 2014 update of my final facts. I've, I've shown you guys videos of how I manage my calendars and all that stuff. It's going to be basically the same um, this year as it was last year. Last year I had three calendars in here, one for home, one for business, and then one for schooling. Um, as of now, I've only put um, two calendars in here, and that is for business and for home. Um, not taking any um, classes this semester. Um, everything I needed for my nursing was actually um, filled up by the time I was able to register. So, A5 sketch, um, show you guys what I've done so far. Um, 
I per like I said, I personalized it to what is important to me, what makes me happy, what makes me cheerful. Because this, to me, I see a file of facts or anything organizer of, of stuff that we need to do. So it does keep us in track. I haven't been using my file of facts in a few months. I just started using it um, this month and already I'm more on top of certain things. I noticed that when I didn't use it for a good four months, I was behind so many schedules. I was behind my kids' schedules at school, behind my schedules at home. I wasn't writing down what I needed to do or wanted to do at home as far as organization, as far as cleaning, as far as things that I you know, wanted to redecorate or what have you. I like to list those stuff down and I'm, I like to check it off when I'm done. So when I didn't have my Philo facts, I knew that I wasn't as organized or as up to date or as um, on top of things as I would hope or would want to be. So I, I really need to get back into my, my Philo facts. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Um, I have, just like last year, I bought these and showed you guys. These are like little magnet um, clip things. Um, that I got from Target. They're very useful. Um, it just, it snaps on and then it keeps the pages together that you want to stay together. So it's really, um, really handy and it's nice and soft and very flexible. Um, every time I make a video downstairs, Java is always talking to me. And I got my business cards in here. This is, um, this is the back of my um, business cards and the thing about the um, the Philo facts, these sections here are very, there's one, two, three, there's a nice three section here and then one, two and three opens up but the thing is is that even though they do open up they're very tight and it's hard to get something in there. So I'm probably not going to use this for anything. Um, that's permanent. I I found this in my purse and Edwards had given us free movie ticket stubs because we used their rewards card rewards cards and I have missed out on free movie tickets um, a couple of times so when I saw this I wanted to make sure that I put it in here just so that um, it'll remind me because it expires next month just so that I can keep an eye on it and look out for it for the next time we go to the movies. But here it is, my first page. And I showed you guys earlier last week or a week and a half of the stuff that I used. Maybe I should go get that just to, just in case you guys didn't watch my previous um, divider video. I'll be right back. All right, so I was starting to show you guys how I actually customized it. And before I get to that, just really quick to show you guys the products that I did use to customize my um, file effects this time. And as always, um, I love my adv advanced tape glider from Scotch. This is actually for my scrapbooking. This is really handy in all the stuff that I did with um, customizing my dividers. And I use my Cricut um, cutting board to cut out my um, my papers and so it's nice and aligned in a straight cut each time. I love this. And then the paper that I use is the Surf's Up. Um, Surf's Up by Recollections. I believe I got this at Michael's and I love this because this is the um, Hawaiian theme island theme and all that stuff so it's really a very um, happy um, collection of papers just to um, show you guys let's see if you guys can see the samples if you guys do scrapbooking um, this is a really nice um, paper to get for like um, the summer um, summer theme I like it year round love everything Hawaii, everything um, that has to do with the tropics. Uh, I've always I've always had a fascination with um, tropics, weathers, and um, all that stuff. And then just to share with you guys, one of my little finds for Christmas, I got this over in Seattle at the Yankee um, Candle Company. They were having 
50% off all their candles and I absolutely love this scent. It's the Cucumber and Cantaloupe. I love everything fruity like you guys know with my Scentsies and this is, it smells so much like um, cantaloupe. Um, very, very fruity. Okay. And also this one. Um, this is called the Foam. I think it's called Foam Boards. Um, it, it's a foam adhesive, so you stick it into the back of something and it creates like a uh, 3D effect. So I use this also. And that's about it. Those are one, two, three, four. Those are the only four things that I use to customize my divider of how I wish to, um, to have it look like. So here's the first page. In my uh, videos, I showed you guys how I cut all these um, dividers up. So please um, go look for that. I made it about two weeks ago. So first of all, um, it started off with just this green, um, green paper. And what I did is that I layered onto it with my different types of paper. So I had the, the white one and then I had these stickers, random stickers that my girls gave me. So I added that in there. This little cutout was from the the Surf's Up collection, so I added that in there. So it's just basically when I do my customizings of my dividers, I like to layer um, different papers together to make it look more, um, more 3D effect. And here's a picture of my family. And like I said, that's how I wanted it to be this time, to be more personal. So I chose my family. I chose um, my Hawaiian papers that's very um, happy. Um, I wanted to look at this um, and think like happy thoughts, not like, ah, oh, there's all this stuff that I got to do. Because that's what I use my Philo Facts for, is all the stuff I got to do, all the places I got to go to, all the errands, all the reminders. And I didn't want it to be just like, oh, it's such a burden to look at that. I don't want to look at that. So I wanted it to be partly to look at it like, oh, okay, there's, there's my happy place. There's my family. And then with this picture, I used um, one of these foam boards. So as you can tell, I actually used a smaller one. And as you can tell, there's like it creates like a little 3D effect. And I love, love using this glider um, for this project because it goes in really secure. These are very strong tapes. So that's my first page. And here's... Here's the back of that, and it's just a plain one, but I, I didn't want to add on to this because I think that um, the image of, is this like those uh, Volkswagen, um, like a what, a 60s Volkswagen? Um, it has, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has a very rough texture, and I didn't want to cover that up. And on this page, so it started out blue, I added some yellow um, textured papers in there and I cut up a uh, part of the surfs up that had the clouds so I just cut that up and then I put a picture of my big girl Danielle in there and I used the foam and that's when you guys can see that um, it creates that 3D effect like I said so I like it it's um, it makes me happy to look at, at my Philo facts when I've decorated it this way like I said, you guys can decorate your Philo facts any way you want to, whichever makes you happy, whichever you guys feel like. Um, at first, I wanted to create like a Valentine's Day theme or red and white. I mentioned that on my last video so that it, because um, I was going to create it during the month of December, so that it will cover December, January, February, and then I would redo it again during the spring. But... I changed my mind on that one so I wanted it to last a little bit longer than three months so this is the reason why I did it this way and here's another one here's the next page and this is actually one uh, two is that oh this is oh actually this is just one sheet of paper on one of the sheets on that surfs up it had all these different um, uh, different images in there so I just cut that up it looks like there's um, different strips that I put in there it's actually just one of um, a full page from the the collection which I thought was really pretty and so on my first calendar this is a week on two page um, diary 
and I took out a lot of the inserts. I didn't like to see all the different stuff in it. I just wanted it to go straight from this um, front first page because it has the um, ahead calendars um, from 2013 back to 2013 um, this year and then also the next year 2015. So I wanted to keep that. wanted to keep this because it was just extra notes and then it went ahead and started off into the um, um, the 30th of December, 31st, and then from the 5th of January, I didn't have anything written in here because I, once I started it, it was actually, um, I think last week or with the, um, yeah, last week. So the week, this is again called Week on Two Pages. So you've got two weeks covering two pages, and it starts from 8 until 8. And this is nice. Um, it's more of like an appointment calendar so if you have something going on at 8 o'clock on the Tuesday so you just write it right there 8 o'clock to 8 30 so it has a line for every half hour you guys can see that uh, so every line um, there's a line for every half hour it starts off at 8 and then another line for 8 30 and then it goes to 9 and it goes from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I wanted to keep this because this will be my my home um, my home calendar. If I have any appointments for the kids, um, I'll put I'll note it down in this um, calendar appointments for my hubby and I as far as doctors or business or well not business because I have the other one for business but any appointments. I, I like how it um, it has lines for for the whole day uh, until early part of the evening so that you can just easily just note it in there and then that's um, if I do need extra spaces to write in there that's what I'm gonna use my notepads for my post-it notes so that I can easily just write something onto my post-it and then just put it in there just to remind me uh, what I need to do or what I need to do that day or or that week and stuff like that but um, I thought that was really nice. I like how this calendar works. I had this last year and it, it worked out really well for me. And then so that's really nice also. Um, I thought that because some calendars when you buy them it only covers half of the year. With Philo Facts um, I bought two calendars for my husband and it did cover for the whole entire year which is really nice. This one was roughly I think seven dollars or twelve dollars somewhere around there between seven to twelve. It was um, really um, affordable for the fact that it covered for the whole year. Okay so ooh, my shirt's getting caught. So here's another um, divider that I customized and you can tell this is um, this is one of the Hawaiian flowers that I thought was very bright and colorful I added a white layer and then I added more of that clouds um, border that it had and then and then this one it started out yellow so I added the green paper and then I added that very nice textured um, uh, Volkswagen van thing from the 60s and then I put the picture of me Jonathan and Danny in there my Jonathan he's 13 and look he's taller than me and that's my Danny she's five so this is the other calendar and this is the one that I'm gonna use mostly um, for my business um, mostly for business and YouTube um, just to note in there some quick ideas not not too much information just quick notes I'll do a video on Tuesday about um, oh, the body shop which my next video will be and like again I kept the calendar page which is the 2014 calendar and this probably goes back 2000 yep 2013 and 2015 and then it starts off um, into into the month and let me month on two pages okay so uh, let's see so that's the month of January and that's from January to okay so January only has one page on this one which 
is weird. Maybe, oh, maybe I took away, maybe I threw away the other page for January because January 1st is missing, so that's okay. Um, but here's the month of February, so just so you guys can see the whole um, month. So it goes in two months. And, um, and then it has, the nice thing about it is that it does have, you know, the, the small, I think it's enough size to, if you, that's why I like to use the, um, the ultra fine point pens, because then they write thinner. I think it's enough space within the squares, but the nice thing is that it actually has these, um, little lines in here, one through... 28 and then you can add on 29 30 or 31 so just in case you need to write a little extra note on one of these um, concerning one of these boxes here's also a lined um, space for for the whole month um, in case you need it so I do like that one also I also had this one last year and it worked out really well okay and each end of a calendar I have a divider and I decorated this one um, with that one sheet that has all those um, all those little images of the clouds, the van, the surfboards, flowers. I think that's really pretty. I love I love this collection paper from um, Recollections of Surfs Up. There were so much fun things to do. Okay, so here's another one, and this is just like the van paper. It's um, glittery and it's very hard. It's very rough. Um, really pretty to look at and then I added um, one of these strips I believe says uh, in the good old summertime I thought it just said summertime and then I also got this um, just like the other one these dividers in here and it's nice because they easily they easily pop out and you can add it add it wherever you need it um, to to add on to it's not really that hard to, um, to take out and put back on. You don't need to open up the whole binder for that, which is really good. Okay, so here's an empty slot. And this one started out with the green divider. I added the yellow strip, and then I added this, um, it's, what is it, rectangle, it's not a square. And the good thing about this one is how I placed it, it has a little, little pocket. It's actually more open than the um, than these pockets in here that I showed you. These are very tight. You can barely put anything in there. The um, the business cards. I only have gosh ten ten business cards, and I had to really shove it in there. And you can't. I can't even open it. It's very hard for me to open. That's the one thing I don't like about this. They shouldn't have made it. I mean, super tight. I mean, if they're gonna put some inserts in it for for a way for you to organize or add some stuff in there they should at least be able to open it up a bit but it's very difficult so not really going to use that for that however with that in mind that knowing that it was super tight that I wanted to create you know little pockets so what I did was I used the this advanced tape glider which is really really handy the little white strip so you guys can see that's how that's how thick the, um, the tape is. Actually, it's, it's a perfect size for me. So what I did was I, I just taped the very edge from here, the bottom, and then here, and then taped it on, and it's, it's on really, really tight. That's the thing about those um, gliders is that it's super adhesive. And then that created a little pocket for me. So um, that way I can put, um, you know, put little, post-it notes in here if I wanted to that's actually too thick but then if I was you know to take it out see it just creates a little pocket in there really cute so that's something you guys might um, want to do on yours okay so and then just this one I wanted to keep this one just a one page because I I like how the hula girl my girls do hula and and this has just reminded me of my my girls loving their hula class and that was really really cute 
This is um, the same notes that I had last year when I first had my file facts. I had ordered these. I only used up a little bit of it. I didn't use up a whole bunch from last year. So I have the blue ones that I paid extra. I, I forgot how much they were. Um, it came with these colored ones, I think, which came in with the, the A5. I think those came in with the A5. And then here's another pocket that I made just like the other one so I didn't close this one just so I can insert little stuff in there maybe I can put receipts in there um, little note cards in there if I want to um, mail off a little note um, and here's um, this is um, also another extra that I bought. You can buy this through Filofax. I bought this last year. I didn't need to order any more this year. It's nice because it has some to-do um, to do items. And the good thing about this, it being on a three-ring um, or well, six-ring um, binder compared to those ones that's in spiral, you can actually take this out. I would take um, write my to-do list, and if I had something to do tomorrow, I put tomorrow's date and what I would do is that I'd list everything that I would want to do that day or um, remind myself and then the nice thing is that you can take this out from the re um, three ring, uh, I'm sorry I keep saying three ring, the six ring. So let me go ahead and do that so that I can just visually show you guys because I don't know if you guys are like me, I'm very visual so I took that out and then you know, like today's day, you get one of these calendars and if I said, like, okay, there's something that I want to do this day, so then open that up. Hopefully it doesn't all pop out. And then the good thing about it is that, you know, you can insert it into the day that you need it, right? And then to remind myself that I have something that I want to do that day, I can get one of these little post-its, that's my little Java, and then when that thing is closed up, where am I, am I this way, yep, when that thing is closed up, then there's this little pink tab in here that you remembered, like, oh, I had a to-do list, so then you just open that up, and there's your little to-do sheet, so that's one way to do it to remind you and okay so going back um, so that's the whole to do sheets and then here's here's another divider um, I really like this one so here's another divider that I did that had open and this time it was bigger so it started out with just um, with just the green so if you guys notice the green in the background, I added the blue and then I added a thicker version of that little pocket that I showed you guys I made. Here's a picture of my three, my three little ones. Here's Danny. Oh, should, um, should show you guys. Okay, there's Jonathan, there's Danny, and there's Miss Danielle. And so, you know, just because it is personalized about my family this time, so I put little pictures of them in there just so keep me happy keep me in a in a happy place and thinking about my family oh, so turn the page and and here's another pocket rather than closing it up I figured I'd just leave it open and that's it that's as far as um, what I did for customizing my dividers and this time it's um, these ones, I'm sorry, not this time, but these ones are the same ones that I use um, for my uh, last year of how I had my Filofax and you guys were asking about this. So I believe this one, I don't know if I ordered it separate or it actually came with the Filofax. I want to say that it did come with it and what it was originally was the address labels. Um, I think he had like um, A through C, D through F um, alphabetically so that um, he had inserts for addresses and I don't use my Filofax for um, personal addresses just in case I lose it. Um, 
I have it on my email system um, of all the family and friends addresses so I don't necessarily want to keep it into my Filofax I think it's too personal um, but it, you know it, it varies on a lot of people I don't keep it here because it's already on my phone if I wanted to get an address all I have to do is go into my phone go into my personal um, email account and be able to get um, the family and friends addresses there so I didn't need the address section which I took out last year what I did do this, um, uh, use this for is that I kept the divider of the uh, address files. I think that's how I did it. I don't quite remember. But I, I know I kept these for a reason. So inst um, I just got my label maker. And then I took out... Um, um, I took out one of the label cards and I put must do on all of them. So just like the, um, the sheet of the to-do list, what I did was I created must do for all of these so that I could easily take it out just like the other one so I would just take this out close this back up and then for instance if I had something to do is it in my backward? yes I'm backward sorry um, if I had something to do on this day then um, instead of it being just a little sticky note I could get one of those um, those dividers that I created and then I could put that put that in there close that up so that when this is I, I keep forgetting which way um okay so that when I have my file facts open I could see that there's a must do insert right here which automatically just you know, puts a red flag um, with the Filofax or with my memory and say, oh, you know what, there's something I got to do. I got to pay that electric bill, um, you know, or, or whatever. You know, I got to, I have a dental appointment tomorrow, which I always forget. I, I have to have them remind me. I'm very forgetful these days, I'm noticing. So Filofax really helps me out a lot. But it's nice because where, wherever the date is that you need to do the item or remind yourself, you have this must-do sheets that will pop out and, and just give you a reminder, a visual reminder. Um, I do have my phone and we use our phone for so many stuff. Um, this is my calendar, this is my reminder, this is my alarm clock, I'm so lost without my phone. But um, as often as I use my phone and as much as I need my phone, there's nothing much, there's nothing like having my Filofax or whatever calendar system that you use, whatever planner you use to help you um, get more organized or remind uh, more better. Um, because I'm a very touch and feel person. I, I can't buy a lot of stuff online. I gotta see it. I gotta see if it's the right color, even though it's the right, you know, it says pink. What kind of pink is it? Light pink, baby pink, soft pink, powder pink. There's just so much um, more ways of just seeing it and touching it that you can actually decide on rather just looking at a picture for me. Okay, I think I'm going towards the end. So that was my must do and you guys really did like that last year and so I kept it and I, it was very helpful. And so the last one is uh, world um, globe uh, map but this one I'm going to use this year as well. So this one um, I don't know if I, use, I bought it extra but it has um, a little pocket on the inside which you can insert in. So right now I have my little post-it in there, but what I'm going to use this for, and I've used up all my stamps, but I'm going to use this for um, stamps and a little note card. Sometimes I need to write a quick little note to somebody. I want to make sure that they're here so that I can have my, my pens handy, my phone has all, will already have their address, the note card will be in here, and then also some stamps, a book. I need to go to the post office and buy another booklet of stamps. I used it up for all my Christmas cards. So that will be the place for this. Um, little quick mailing system note cards and um, I don't really use sheets of paper I usually write within the blank note card and then it's gonna have some stamps in there and then this is just some extra notepads so there you go my Filofax of 2014 
personalized it to that would make me happy to see it, would make me welcome opening it up rather than being it, than having it being a burden because I'm like, ah, oh, so much stuff to do on that thing. I don't want to touch that because that's how I see bills. Sometimes I don't want to open up the envelopes because it just reminds me that there's just so much stuff that I would need to do if I opened that up. So my bills do pile up and I, I only do, I only open up my mail um, envelopes from, you know, for my bills twice a month. One at the very beginning, one in the middle because it's just, it's just the thought of it, you know, it's just the thought of all that work. But I do it while I'm watching TV. But with this one, I, I wouldn't have to think of it that way, even though it's the same process. You know, you look at it, you look at this and you're like, okay, these are all the stuff I need to do today. But instead of making me feel like, oh, I don't want to open that, it would me make me want to open it because I'm looking at the things that make me smile, the things that make me happy, and that is the, the seeing of my family and all that stuff. So that's how I wanted it to be this year so that I could um, use it up more and be open to just open it up and conquer the day, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are having a wonderful new year so far. Mahalo!